This is time. This is talent. This is mission. This is service. This is stewardship. For Altar Guild, um, we take the, all of the, the things on the altar and uh, clean them and put them away and collect all of the programs and things that are left around. Um, there are things that need to be cleaned and washed back in the sacristy and then after everything is put away, then the cushions and the altar get covered. Um, so we come together and all that stuff and all the teachers and all the kids huddle up together and we do a prayer and then we just leave. We always read um, the Bibles in church school because that's really the only book about church, the Bibles, which are right here as well. <laughs> we talk about like Jesus and God and what's in the Bible that we're reading about and then fun stuff happens. The last thing we do is pray before we leave. Right now I sort clothing and I go in on Mondays and I sort through all the bags of clothes. I chose to be an acolyte because well, one, it's awesome to be a part of the church service, and also I love holding torch, torch bearers. Um, it's awesome for learning the role, you learning your role, and also um, being able to take away some of the lessons that I've learned from the church. I chose to start working. I didn't have too much of a choice. I was on the vestry at the time, and Fran and Al Snyder had outreach. They started it and I was the liaison between vestry and outreach so that's when I started but I was the only one with a pickup truck so I got stuck with delivering furniture and picking up furniture and then they built the new building and I've been coming in there and doing it. I go to church school because well it's fun, it's educational and I get to learn more about church and who wants to learn more about church? Me and you got to do all these fun arts and crafts things and it's a lot of fun. And after I retired and was able to attend church regularly, I was starting to feel like I wanted to have some better connection with people at church. Um, I joined ECW and started attending meetings there and um, then one day in church Marilyn asked me if I would be interested in joining the altar guild and I thought that was something that I would be able to do. So. I told her, yeah. The process was um, coming here really early before church, about 45 minutes before church, and going over it with Father, with Father Mike. Um, he told me, like, okay, you gotta do this procession. But also, um, learning from people before me, Sam taught me kind of like how to like fix this, um, how to like walk around, also how to be the thoroughfare. I would suggest to the young, to the young, to the youth, to. Um, take this opportunity to better yourself and also learn more about the service and about the church. Fun experience for you and also, how can I put this? It's awesome. It's awesome. And also I'll be right there to help you along the way, so just ask me anything. I think as a member of Altar Guild, I feel like I'm contributing and um, sharing something that I can do with the rest of the church as opposed to just coming and participating in the worship and then going home. Knowing now that like, um, cause now I've been accepted into the Episcopal Church, I've been confirmed, um, it's definitely changed my mindset also with acolyting. It's just worship the same way, just look at it. Um, just look at it through a different perspective. I found that I wanna help people more. I'm more aware of things around me where I think they, those people need help, whereas before I 
didn't know. Well, I think the gift that I've given them is the gift of my time, where I help to take care of these things for a, you know, a short amount of time after service on Sunday. You know, being like a part of something, being a part of God and serving others and doing something that's bigger than myself. I can help it by like helping the little ones that are younger than me. I need help and I can become a teacher here and I know more so I can like help the youngers. I give my love to Outreach House and to help other people. Um, I enjoy it. It makes gives me a purpose in life, which is a big thing in a way. I mean, outreach has been, become part of my family. I've learned a lot of things while I've been participating in Altar Guild. Um, some of it's all of the, like, the nit and gritty stuff, like the names of the different things that are used during the service, above and beyond a chalice. Now I know there's a patent and different things like that. So I've come to understand a little bit more about the components of the actual pieces that are used during the service and um, a little bit of the reverence for all of these items. I've learned about the um, week of Jesus, Holy Week, so the when Jesus risen and when Jesus died and all that stuff. And that was one of the things that I learned, but there's so much more I've learned and I just can't remember because there's so much. The gift of God is what I've gotten. Um, a better relationship with God. Um, you know, started praying more. Um, you know, it's kind of like turned me like more holy a little bit. Patience, uh, understanding to accept other people's beliefs. They might not might be my beliefs, but to, I, you meet people with different uh, ideas uh, that might not coincide with your ideas, but uh, everybody has different ones and you shouldn't judge people by how they think. The gift that church school has given to me is um, well, learning and lots of fun. One thing that I really, really enjoyed um, about participating in Altar Guild was the, the um, decorating the church at Christmas time. And we came in and hung the wreaths and, and put the flowers out. And it just, we did that at Easter too, but I mean, Christmas is like a really, like my, my special holiday, and I just really, really enjoyed that. Favorite thing about being an acolyte, I just love the white robe, it's awesome. Favorite thing about church school is probably the arts and crafts and games, because I'm an artsy girl, and if you like games and, and art, then that would be perfect for you. So, the arts and crafts and games are my favorite. I I enjoy helping, I, I, uh, I'm retired, so it, gives me something to do other than being home and working around the house. Um, I enjoy working at church and helping people. I can't, I can't give you a special thing. I am building the kingdom of God by being faithful and sharing the love of the church with people that I encounter. I am building the kingdom of God by Worshiping in his church and helping out in the outreach house, um, and also participating in, in school, in school chapels, and also here at St. James, acolyting with um, Father Mike. It's a lot of fun. I am building the kingdom of God by, ho by hoping that I am bringing more people to the kingdom of God. I think we build the kingdom of God um, with more people and with more helpers and with more learning. What gifts do you have to build the kingdom of God? Together, we can build the kingdom of God with time, talent, mission, and service.